I will start now to plant these plants in these uh, hanging pots. Why I choose this one? Because I think it's more organic than the plastic one. That's why I know that you will have to change again later on, but uh, it's good because you can just replace it. You can just buy again next time this, this coconut husk. So, but it's organic. So I think they have more, they will grow more, uh, better, healthier. So that's why I choose this one. So this uh, do-it-yourself um, hanging basket will cost you $25 for this bracket, $10. This is $6. This is $6 as well in the thing. And this will also, we will put uh, three plants and it costs $1 per plant. So $3. So you will add up. It will cost you twenty-five dollars. So this tree would be seventy-five dollars then. Tell. <laughs> okay. Uh, because um, there's in Bunnings, there's or, already that ready-made or, or it's already a hanging plants, and it's a plastic uh, pot and it's smaller, and it costs you already seventeen dollars. And, and it's only one variety of plant. So like only geranium, or it's yeah, only impatient. Only impatient. So. $17. This one you have already different. So it's, I think it's still cheaper if you do it yourself. Yeah. Okay. We will start now. Just fill up this with this organic, uh, organic potting uh, mix. Okay, uh, this is the uh, soil now, mixed soil, but soil. I think I, I, I put also some horse manure and uh, rice husk, pale husk, because that's what I have there. And you know, this is not only for uh, plants, flowering plants. Maybe next time I will put also strawberries here tomatoes, whatever, and maybe uh, sweet potato, you know? Okay, so we will uh, put now the, uh, the plants. Okay. And this one, this, these plants, when they will grow, because there's so many branches now, you can easily divide later on and transplant, uh, propagate. So, yeah, you just buy once and then you will uh, reproduce. Okay, and um, <coughs> I think there are three different colors here, tell. Light pink, light pink, dark pink, and the medium uh, thing. So maybe we will put also three different kinds. Okay, just press here and we will come. Maybe I will I will sip this uh, sip this because before winter time I will plant here and bring inside for the next you know, it might survive but the seeds they will just I uh, uh, know they will grow anywhere because I have these plants in at the back before everywhere they will grow everywhere and during 
during um, during springtime. So you can you can already plant uh, uh, cut, but I, I'll make it a uh, more um, uh, mature before I will cut and uh, uh, propagate. Now I will put this uh, wood chips. The, this one first before that, so that it will not, it will hold. Okay. Uh, with all these things you are putting here. For sure, they will uh, be growing nicely, healthy. And later on, when they will um, settled here in their place, you will put. I will put those uh, liquid organic uh, fertilizer. You cannot put them yet now because they're still very. You just move them. Then the organic thing is very strong so they might not uh, they might uh, no, die so when they are strong enough that's the time you will put the organic okay this is now the finished product and then it's a bit heavy I hope it will uh, it will endure this one and um, I will ask my son to uh, drill this and uh, we will hunt. Wow, nice. And we will continue with the others. Segment with others. Hello, everyone. This is the Gram series. Um, not just tricks. All right. So, hey, everyone. So, this is what we're doing to uh, hang the brackets up on the wall to hold these things. Pretty much all you need, besides the bracket and the basket, is a drill. Oh. It's obviously you should get like at least a hammer drill. That'll be good. Um, a hammer. I did I probably prefer a not non-diseased hammer. Some wool plugs. Oh, some screws, and this bit to drill into the brick. Let's go. All right, everyone. So where we're going to be drilling is up here, because the Gram series wants it up there. So we we, we need a step ladder for that. Um, and if you're going over more than two steps, just get someone to help you because uh, safety first. So anyway, 
you kind of want to line it up to where you kind of want it to be and we're pretty much dead center right here um, sorry I'm just looking over there just so I can get a general idea of where the other one is so I can uh, kind of match it doesn't need to be perfect because you know I don't care this is the Graham series if she really wanted it to be perfect she'd do it herself but because I'm doing it YOLO swag all right Oh yeah, uh, before I start, uh, I put it in the hammer, uh, hammer setting because we're going through brick. All right, guys. Oh, and you should really have PPE, like a mask or glasses, but uh, I don't have any, so who cares? You're right. If I get cancer, whatever. This is the Gram Series' project. That's what she, she doesn't care. All right, that's good. You want to start off slowly to make a little, little dip, so that way when there's a little dip, it's easier for you to just, you know, go hard. All right. There you go, you went through. <laughs> so, uh, Meanwhile on the Gram series. Why is she wearing a bloody skirt? <laughs> All right. She's wearing a bloody skirt when she's going gardening. <laughs> All right, so the next thing you need to do is uh, make sure it aligns with the initial hole you put in. So in this part, you need a pen. I forgot to mention that, soz, but we're doing this on the fly, so whatevs. So Tell has a pen for me. Hashtag spons, not chicks. All right. Because we don't have like a proper builder's marker, we're just using a pen. Works the same, pretty much. So you just gotta line it up, make sure it's straight. That's pretty straight, I reckon. All right, you just need to make a little mark. It's starting to rain, who cares? Doesn't matter, we're gonna get sick anyway. All right, next we have to drill the second hole using that mark we put in. Remember, make sure it's going clockwise. Just put it there, slowly put it in, make a little dip. So I need to get up. Sometimes you have to move into a better position so you, you prevent uh, like some injuries. I'm gonna move it back a bit. Yeah, so I can have more leverage, you know. I reckon that's good enough. Hold on, I just need to check. It's just not going through, so... Sometimes, you know, if, if you were, like, uh, doing this properly, you'd actually check to see if there's anything on the other side. Just in case you might hit something important. <laughs> but... What is? No, I'm just shit. I'm just not going... <laughs> okay, there. It's through. <laughs> What the heck? That's one of those quotes where it's like, don't stop because you don't know if you're going to be just right there at the end. Up to the stage where we have to hammer in these wall plugs. If you don't put a wall plug and you just drill it in with a screw, it'll just come out. These things will keep it steady. And uh, yeah, all you have to do, pretty much just put it where the hole is and just hammer it. But do it slowly. You don't want to bend these things because if you do, you have to get them out. And it's quite annoying to get them out. Also, it's always best not to fully put them in. Um, just cause, like if you made a mistake, it's freaking impossible to get these things out. You have to use pliers and it's just annoying. See like, just, just there, I, uh, <laughs> I did it. It's on an angle, but yellow, doesn't matter. All right, so now we're gonna be drilling in the actual bracket. We have to make sure to change it to screw in setting so first what i like to do yeah is yep put the actual screw in the bracket you just align it there you screw it in a bit all 
don't put it all the way so you can align the other one underneath and put that screw in Evenly screw in the, the top. Make sure it's on tight. Just give it a little jiggle, see if it's alright. Seems alright. So, next, uh, it's the good bit. This is where the ground series comes in. Rams. Look at that pose. Hello, where are you? Gram series. Your bra strap. So this is the inauguration of uh, this thing. And there it is. That's your bracket. You just have to repeat it as many times as you want. Um, it's really up to you. If it was me, I'd just do one. But we have to do three. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One more. Yeah. Nice. Merry go round. <laughs> oh, he's going on the carousel. Carousel ride. This is now the hanging plants. Our project for today. The do-it-yourself hanging plants. And with the help of my kids, we've done it well. <laughs> we've done it well. Hopefully, you want to try it also and beautify your place as well. So, yes. I am happy with this one. Hopefully, especially when they're blooming and coming down with the lots of flowers. That would be very nice. Thank you, friends. Bye.